Hi, I'm Jim and this is Gardening Through the Seasons Inside and Outdoors. This year we embarked on a long journey, starting with cuttings of these giant uh, Japanese or in-curve chrysanthemums. And we're gonna go all the way to the end to when they are blooming. So these are the final steps I'm gonna share with you today. All right, so as the buds begin to show color, what you need to do is protect them from rain and frost and just bad weather in general. So uh, now I own just a little hobby greenhouse, but before I had that, I actually would put these uh, on my front porch, it's just an open porch, and that would provide just enough protection from frost and rain that they could come into bloom. If you leave these outside in the, in the rain and stuff, the flowers will just be icky. They won't be any good. Okay, so what are we gonna do to get these ready to go inside? Well, we're going to uh, keep watering them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna give these any more fertilizer at this point. Um, you have to be careful with fertilizer. If you overdo things, it can actually drop the buds. But I may experiment and do some with, some without. Um, but I'm going to spray these with a systemic insecticide. Systemic because the uh, insecticide is gonna go inside the plant and it's gonna spread up into the flowers and I don't have to worry about bees because it's after bee season and these are gonna go undercover anyway. Uh, if you don't do that, aphids can start developing in these blooms and ruin your blooms and that's really stupid. You also need to protect these from slugs. And so I may even, not at the same time that I spray it with a systemic insecticide, I may spray them with say malathion and also put some slug bait out as well, just to keep the slugs under control. Now, when they are under cover, you need to keep good ventilation or mold will grow on the flowers. What I do in my little greenhouse is I leave the doors open during the day, as long as the weather's okay, not too cold and frosty. And then I use uh, just a little simple electric heater at night that raises the temperature just enough to uh, make the, raise the dew point. And so the plants stay nice and clean and dry. Another thing you could do is uh, if you had good uh, ventilation, maybe a fan, maybe uh, you have a good climate where you can leave the sides open or just have something over the top to protect the flowers. And you just wanna give them as much light as possible during this time as well so the flowers can develop. Obviously keep them watered and you'll be all set. I'll show you these when they come into full bloom. Like my video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.